Hey everyone, Seth Perkins here from Beard & Butcher Blend Seasonings. Today I want to show you how to make jerky with our seasoning blend. Today we're making venison jerky, which this is cut from the round portion of a uh, whitetail here in Ohio. But you can use this recipe for just about any kind of jerky. You can make it in beef, you can make it in um, goose, pretty, elk, whatever kind of wild game or, um, you know, a domestic animal that you want to make jerky out of, you can certainly use this recipe. So what, what we're going to do is I have 12 pounds of meat here. And so our magic ratio with our seasoning is one bottle, which is six ounces, for 12 to 13 pounds of meat. Um, one ounce of our seasoning will do two pounds. So we're going to go ahead and use Chipotle today. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the meat in the mixing bowl. And then I'm going to go ahead and add our seasonings to it. I also have an ha a half of an ounce of pink tinted cure. Um, this will help preserve the meat. It's going to give it a nice red color when we smoke it. Um, and I've weighed out a half of an ounce. We're going to go ahead and add that too. So we'll, we'll put our, our meat right in our mixing bowl. Like that. And then we're going to go ahead and add our tinted cure, pink salt. And this, this pink salt is available um, online. Any home butcher store, anything like that, you can just Google pink curing salt. Um, this is available in a little one ounce pack. It's real handy. You can split it and use it for 12 to 13 pounds of meat. At this point, we're going to go ahead and add a whole bottle of our Chipotle Beard of Butcher Blend seasonings. I'm going to go ahead and put just about half of it in at this point, and I'm going to start giving it a, a little mix. I want it to be evenly distributed throughout the batch. So now that I have it mixed up about halfway, I go ahead and add the rest of the contents of the bottle. This is a very simple process. Um, anybody can do this at home. It's really not difficult. And this is going to make your wild game taste absolutely incredible. You can go to the grocery store um, and pick up a pack of beef jerky or you can make your own from a deer that you harvested and then pass it out to your buddies on the weekends and brag about the awesome jerky you made. So as I'm mixing this, I'm just making sure that the seasoning is evenly distributed throughout this batch. And once I feel that I've got it to a point where I know that all the strips are covered, I'm going to go ahead and stop. And as you can see, that is what the jerky looks like seasoned with our chipotle seasoning. I'm going to go ahead and let this rest overnight. So it, this is a dry rub, there's no liquid. I'm going to let it rest overnight and tomorrow we will put this in our hickory smokehouse. We'll smoke it at about 165 to 170 degrees for about six hours. We're going to take the internal temperature of this jerky to about 165 degrees. There is going to be moisture um, along with the smoke in our oven just to make sure that the jerky doesn't dry out. You can put this in your home smoker, um, your electric smoker, you can use a pellet grill, you can use a big green egg grill, you can use your oven, food dehydrator, however you want to take this jerky um, and dry it down to a point where it reaches temperature and it's the moisture content you feel like you want it to be at, you can certainly do that at home. The other thing is, is this is 12 pounds of meat. When this cooks down, it's gonna lose about 50% of its weight. So what we're gonna end up with is about six to seven pounds of finished jerky that you can be proud of because you made it yourself. 